And so let's talk a little bit more about the different configuration options in Salesforce. How about we start with connected apps? Yeah, sure. So anytime you want to access uh, anything in Salesforce, uh, you have to define a, a connected app. app right? And so in uh, our demonstration, we showed uh, Lambda talking to Salesforce. And so it could be anything. And if you want to talk to Salesforce, get access to their REST API, uh, you have to define a connected app. Right. And so we named it uh, AWS Lambda, right? And we also specified there uh, um, what kind of permissions that particular connected app has. So it, you could restrict, like, say, by IP if you wanted, right? Or you could say relax IP restrictions. Um, and so uh, one of the permissions we said was allow it to uh, access and manage data. So we did that. And um, the other thing that you get from creating a connected app is you get a OAuth token and a, a, a key and a secret. And you also uh, specify your username and password in whatever application you're connecting to Salesforce. So to summarize, connected app will allow developers to configure Salesforce in, an, in a secure way to communicate uh, and exchange data with external sources. Is that a correct articulation? Yeah, that's right. So we talked about connected apps. Um, can we dive a little bit more deep into the other components? I believe platform events is the next critical one. Yeah, so um, we've defined how to access Salesforce. Now, how do we get Salesforce events now into AWS? And so uh, we mentioned platform events earlier. Uh, platform events, uh, you're defining essentially a message. And so that message is made up of fields. And so you, you specify what custom fields or fields that you want to send over to uh, AWS via platform events. Um, so that's one aspect. So that's it's very straightforward. You just literally you bring up a configuration file, a configurator, and then you specify the field and th what type of field it is. So is this configurator that you talked about a feature available in Salesforce? Yeah, it's it's part of their platform events. Excellent. So to summarize, we are talking about a mechanism, a, a watcher kind of mechanism. Mm -hmm. Using a configurator, you are telling platform events to watch certain data sets and seek for changes, and as soon as changes are available, do something about it. Yeah, so we specified the platform event, and so now we have, to, we have to also specify when does that platform event actually get fired. The triggers, yeah. The triggers, right. And so you can write code for that. You can write Apex code in order to do that, or uh, if you want to do that in a graphical uh, no-code no uh, method, uh, Salesforce provides a tool called uh, Process Builder. Right. Yeah, and Process Builder, you just specify uh, the type of uh, record that you want to watch, and when you and what kind of things you want to, what kind of actions you're looking to react off of, and if uh, if that occurs and a certain condition is filled, then go ahead and fire off a platform event onto the bus, and then it and Lambda is just sitting there listening for platform events, and we're good to go at that point.